Okay, what are you planning to contribute to the Black Group? Well, I hope to do a lot of things. I hope to get to know the students real well so that we can answer student needs. I hope to be a part of some recruiting new students, spreading the good word nationally. I think Blackburn has a lot to say nationally for higher education, and I want to be the guy out there to be out there and spread Blackburn God. Um, how do you plan to recruit more students to Blackburn? By spreading the word. If people just knew the great things that are happening at Blackburn College, then I think more students would be interested in coming. And so we just got to get the word out. How do you plan to change the McKinley House to make it more kid-friendly? You'll see toys around, so you don't have to be able to I have trip on those a little bit when you come into the house. I'm a little worried about the carpet and all the Kool-Aid scenes we're going to have on that <laughs> carpet. Um, but mostly, we just like, the kids like being around the college students. They're, our kids are going to own the campus. They're going to be everywhere and everything. Their favorite restaurants, the dining hall, they're going to be there for meals. <laughs> it's my favorite restaurant, too. It's made there. And, you don't have uh, to cook it. It's your yeah, favorite. <laughs> exactly. Dishes are taken care of. What's not the love? So I think it's not just McKinley House. I think you'll see the kids all over the campus. I think in the basketball games, you have to pull them off the court sometimes. <laughs> What area did you grow up in? I grew up in Waverly, Illinois, which is about 30 minutes, 35 minutes away from here. So this is this is my childhood area. So a lot of my friends are still here. I've been seeing a lot of questions about this. Star Wars or Star Trek? Star Wars. In fact, my six-year-old has not been allowed to watch it yet. <laughs> <laughs> and there will be a big moment here. So I'm the next, hopefully, year to something where he gets to watch the Star Wars series and uh, that's going to be a big moment in our, in our college son relationship. Well, they're going to have a new one coming out soon. Uh, well, not soon, but pretty tight. Luke Skywalker's back, Han Solo's back, I'm very excited. Thank you so much for answering our questions. Well, oh, hey, I'm glad you came to Fulton. This has been great. Now we just got to figure out how we're getting home. <laughs> Barney could always go home. He just needs to believe in himself. Barney, all you need to do is click your heels three times and say there's no place like Blackbird. 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 No like Whoa, like well, what happened? Thomas, we were talking about Mim leaving and the new president coming in, and you just passed out. So we laid you on the couch. I had the strangest dream. You were there, you were there, and so were you. And I went gardening and shopping with Mim, and I was a giant beaver. A giant beaver? <laughs> Is everything okay? I heard Thomas passed out. Yes, yes, he's better now. And then, and then we went on a giant road trip to Joplin, and a tornado hit us. But they did say he hit his head. And then we met with John and his wife, Rachel. And they seem like really nice people, so I think we're going to be okay. It might be a good idea to go to the hospital. Are you able to get up? I think so. So Thomas and Barney knew what the rest of us have known all along, that Blackburn is filled with many people who care, and that change is the natural part of being a Blackburn beaver. Mim has been a good president and a friend to Barney and the students of Blackburn College, and President Cumberford and his family will too. The End